Samsung has quietly revealed its latest in-house mid-range processor, the Exynos 1580 SoC, set to power the upcoming Galaxy A56. While a recent spotlight has been on the high-end Snapdragon 8 Elite for premium devices, Samsung's mid-range chip lineup is still progressing smoothly. The Exynos 1580 might not be flashy, but it's designed for efficient performance and Samsung's decision to unveil it without much fanfare seems to be a smart move. Let's dive into everything Samsung has revealed about the Exynos 1580 and what it means for the Galaxy of 50 sticks. Samsung has branded the Exynos 1580 with the tagline, super smooth, extremely efficient, and here's why. The chip is built using 4 nanometer EUV FINF ET technology, which ensures a more power efficient design. It's a three cluster CPU featuring one Cortex A720 core clocked at 2.9 GHz, three Cortex A720 cores at 2.6 GHz, four Cortex A520 cores at 1.95 GHz. The GPU on this chip is the Eclipse 540 designed to enhance gaming and graphical performance. Along with this, the chip also supports AI processing with its 6K MAC NPU, delivering faster artificial intelligence tasks. Memory support, it's ready for LPDDR5, ensuring faster and more efficient memory usage. And if you love high refresh rates, the Exynos 1580 supports FHD plus displays at 144 Hertz, providing a buttery smooth user experience. In the camera department, this chip supports up to a 200 megapixel camera, making it ready for high quality photography. It can also handle 4K video encoding and decoding at 60 FPS, meaning users will be able to capture detailed fluid video without any hiccups. Connectivity is also solid with Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.4, and 5G support, ensuring fast wireless connections across the board. Digging deeper into what sets the Exynos 1580 apart, Samsung has upgraded several key areas to enhance the user experience. First, let's talk about the NPU, Neural Processing Unit. This component handles AI tasks, and Samsung claims the NPU can now perform up to 14.7 trillion operations per second TOPS. With a 2 megabytes memory capacity, it's more efficient at handling AI workloads, like image processing and voice recognition, which means the phone will feel more responsive when using features like virtual assistants or smart camera modes. Next is the Eclipse 540 GPU, which is a significant upgrade over its predecessor. Samsung added an extra dual UGP workgroup processor, bringing the total to two. On top of that, the GL2 cache has been expanded and the chip now processes twice the amount of FMA slash texture units. Really important for mid-range devices like the Galaxy F56, where battery life often matters just as much as performance. Samsung's decision to keep the Exynos 1580 reveal low-key makes sense. While they may not grab headlines like the Snapdragon 8 Elite, it's clear that the Exynos 1580 is a solid contender in the mid-range market. With impressive upgrades in GPU performance, AI processing, and camera capabilities, the Galaxy F56 is shaping up to be a great choice for those looking for an affordable yet powerful device. As we get closer to the launch of the Galaxy F56, it will be exciting to see how the Exynos 1580 performs in real-world scenarios. Whether you're into gaming, photography, or just want a smooth everyday experience, Samsung's latest mid-range chip could make the Galaxy A50 sticks a standout option in 2024. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. 
When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 Hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5X optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3X zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well, but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.